Hi and welcome students. In this video I'm going to be going over Microsoft Excel 2016 and how to enter text and numbers. Let's go ahead and get started. So you'll see that I have an Excel spreadsheet right here and I want you to take a look at column A. As I click on the A in column A, notice that it selects the entire column. Notice that some of the text in here says North M, South M, East Maya. Okay, and so we know that the column is not wide enough to support the text within it. So if I click on, say, this cell A4, notice that it says North M here, but in the formula bar up here, we could see that it's supposed to say North Miami. All right, well, if we know that this column width is not large enough to support the text within it, what we could do is we could click on column A to select it and then go in between A and B with our cursor until we see this cursor right here, a vertical black bar with two horizontal arrows. If I were to double click in between columns A and B, it's going to auto fit the contents within that column, as you can see here. So notice now that it says North Miami and South Miami and East Miami and we can read all of it. So that's how to auto fit the, and adjust the width of a column. So the next thing we're going to look at is this cell right here, which is cell A1. Okay, now notice that when I click on this cell, the green border that goes around the uh, normally just cell A1, notice it goes all the way through D1. Why is this? This is because the cell is currently merged. Okay, and so that means that cell B1, C1, and D1 are merged together with A1. How do I know this? Because the border doesn't just stop around the current cell like it does here in A2. So again, I click on A1 and it selects all of this. The other way that I know this is because in my home tab, my alignment group, this merge and center box right here is highlighted. And if I click this drop down arrow here, I can see that merge and center is currently selected. So now I want to type within here. Now I'm going to type the name of the company, which is United Delivery. So if I type in here United Delivery, all I have to do whenever I want to type into a cell on Excel is click on the cell once and then begin to type. So I'll type in United Delivery. Okay, now what do you do when you're done typing in a cell in Microsoft Excel? Well, you have two options. You could press the enter button, which will move you down the column, or you can press the tab button, which will move you across the row. So if I press tab, we're expecting it to move me to cell E1. And if I press enter, it'll move me down to cell A2. So I'll press tab to show you what that looks like. And I press tab and notice that my current cell or my active cell is right over here on E1. Now, if I was in here and I pressed enter, it would move me down to A2. So that's how to enter in your cells, but also you have to think about whether you wanna press tab or enter after the cells so that you know what to do with the cell. Now, what if you wanted to stay on this cell? So let's say that I wanted to go into the cell and make it active. All I need to do is double click within the cell and my cursor will appear at whatever point I double click. Or a shortcut to that is to press the F2 key on your keyboard if you're using a, win uh, a Windows 10 computer. So with the F2 key, you could press that right there and that makes this active. Now is there another way to exit a cell without necessarily changing my active cell? The answer is yes. If I press the escape key, the escape key will keep my current cell active, in this case cell A1, and now I can make further changes without having to go back to cell A1. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply what is called a cell style. So I'm going to go to the home tab and I'm going to go to the styles group and I'm going to click this button right here which is the more button. So if I click the more button here I can then see a large list of different custom cell styles that are set up in Excel. I could uh, look through good, bad, and neutral, data and model, title and headings, and my theme cell styles. These theme style, themed cell styles come from the document theme or the uh, worksheet theme, which I could find in the page layout tab. But I'm gonna choose cell, or sorry, heading one cell style. So right there, I click on heading one and notice what it does. It made my text larger, it bold, and it underlined the text. So now I wanna center the text. If I wanna center this text, I have to go to the home tab, the alignment group, and then I'll click this button right here, center. And so if you click center, it'll center your active cell. In this case, cell A1. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do here is I'll press enter to go down to cell A2 to make cell A2 active. Now I'm gonna type in here, 
revenue. Again, all I have to do is just start typing. And then I can press tab or enter. Now in this case, I'm just going to press escape. Okay, now notice that when I pressed escape, as I typed the cell the first time, it now deletes whatever is there. So again, you have to make sure that the first time you do it, you have to either press tab or you have to press enter, okay? Um, the second time you do it, if you make the cell active and you press escape, it'll stay active on your current cell. So again, I'll type in revenue and then I'll, I'll press enter or tab. In this one, I'll press tab. Now notice cell B2 is my active cell. Now I want to merge and center the range A2 to D2. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the left arrow to go back to revenue. And then I'm gonna hold down shift on my keyboard and press the right arrow three times. Whenever I hold down shift on an active cell and I press any of the arrow keys, it's going to select the initial active cell as well as the rest of the uh, cells included in the arrow keys. So you can see by holding shift, I could select a range of whatever size I, I would like just by holding shift and pressing the arrow keys. Now that I have the selection that I want, this is called a range. Anytime you select more than one cell, it's called a range. Uh, now I'm going to do a merge and center. So I'm going to go to the home tab the alignment group, and then I'm gonna click this button right here, merge and center. So if I click merge and center, you'll see that it merged the cell A2 with cells B2, C2, and D2 to make it one cell. So this is all now cell A2. And notice that it also merged the cells together as well as centered the text within the cells. Now you'll see over here I have cells or I have text in here called FY 2021. Well, I don't have any data for 2021, so I don't need this text here. If you ever want to delete uh, the contents within a cell, so in this case FY 2021, all you have to do is click on the cell once and then press the delete key on your keyboard. Keep in mind that's different from pressing the backspace key. As you can see here, I'll do a control Z so it comes back. If I click on it and then press the backspace key, it's going to make the cell active for me. There's really no reason to do this because if I were to just click on the cell and start typing, it would replace the text anyway. So again, whenever you have the cell that you wanna delete, you just hover over it, you click it, and then you press delete, and that'll get rid of that text. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna show you how to do is how to enter data into a range. So the range that we're gonna select is B7 to D7 right here. And this is West Miami's revenue for these three years. And so if I wanna enter in the revenue, the first thing I wanna do is select the range that the revenue is going to go into. So in this case, it's these three cells right here. Now. Next thing I need to do is enter in the data, but I wanna make sure that I do it as efficiently as possible. So what I'm going to do is first select the range, so in this case, B7 to D7, and now I'm going to enter in the data pressing tab between each one. Remember, tab always moves you across the row, whereas enter moves you down the column. So in this case, since it's across a row that I need to enter in the data, I'm gonna start typing in the data. Let's say that the first one is 1800, so I type 1800. Now, do I need to type in the dollar sign, the comma, or the decimals? The answer is no. Since the cells are already formatted, to include the dollar sign, the decimals, and the commas, I do not need to type anything other than the numbers. A common misconception when users start working in Excel is that they need to type in the dollar sign every time. You do not. You just type in the 1800 here, and then you press tab, and tab will move you to the next active cell. Notice that the 1800 is now uh, put into a counting style. And again, I could check that by going to the home tab, number group, and it says accounting here, letting me know that the dollar sign, the comma, and the decimals are automatically going to display. So now I could type in for the year 2019, the next bit of data. So that's going to be 1950. And then I'll press tab. And you'll see there that when I press tab, it enters in that data and moves me to the next cell, which is D7. And now I'll type in the final bit of data, which is 2020. And then I press tab one more time. Now you'll see that all three of the years for West Miami have now been input and all of the data is in the correct um, format. So if I were to press escape right now, 
what happens? Nothing. Okay, so typically you're not going to want to use escape. You're going to want to use the arrow keys to move around. Again, escape is only if you type in the text incorrectly while you type it and it'll actually escape you out of the text and delete what is there. So again, you're going to want to use tab to move you across the tab or across the rows. Enter to move you down the columns and select the range by clicking and dragging or going to the active cell holding shift and using the arrow keys. So hopefully this video has helped you out a little bit when it comes to selecting your numbers and entering your text. And if it has, please give this a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section. And if you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel, make sure you check out my Excel 2016 playlist. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.